and on the doorsteps of Corby and East Northamptonshire. One of the key reasons for that is this issue of EU finance. It's the concern that local people have about British taxpayers' money being sent over to Brussels and then how that money is spent. What local people tell me very, very clearly is that they voted for a common market and not the political superstate that we see today. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's great to be here. Um, some of my props aren't on this <laughs> lectern. Somebody has stolen my props, which are going to be valuable to the contribution that I'm going to make. I'm going to show you the leaflet shortly um, that uh, Sammy alluded to, but which I haven't got in front of me. I'm, I'm not really sure what's happened here. <laughs> You'd have to do it without. <laughs> well, we'll go without the props then. That's absolutely fine. One thing that people say to me all the time is that they're sick to death of politicians bickering on issues where they fundamentally agree. And that goes to the heart of what Grassroots Out is all about. That's exactly why Peter, Philip, I, Kate, Nigel, Sammy, we all agree on. We need to get past this bickering that we've seen in our political system over the years and that so many people feel so put off by. This is going to be a fundamentally important referendum to the future of our country. It is so, so, so important. And there are many reasons for that. Many, many good reasons why we should be leaving the European Union. And I just want to say a little bit about what GO is all about. GO is trying to get people in local communities to work together towards the end of getting us out of the European Union. And why is that so important? because potentially we've got such a short amount of time in which to make the case. The referendum could happen as early as June. 20 weeks, just 20 weeks. I had two years to win in Corby and East Northamptonshire and we need to work together and spread the message about why we should be leaving the EU superstate. And yes, people have had political differences over the years, they've had wranglings, they've had disagreements, but we need to put those things to one side and work together. So what is it? Well, what we're going to do in individual constituencies up and down the country is establish a task force. And what that task force is going to do, it's going to bring together people from different political parties. And it's also going to bring together people who are perhaps different uh, members of different leave organisations into one structure. We're going to meet on a Saturday morning for an hour. We're going to talk about this referendum campaign. We're going to talk about the issues that matter in that referendum campaign and then we're going to go out there, we're going to knock on doors and we're going to go door by door and win this election vote by vote. <laughs> and one thing that I know from my two year campaign in Corby and East Northamptonshire is how important campaign camaraderie is. By setting up Go Branches, that's exactly what we're going to achieve. We're going to come together as one, we're going to get a great team spirit going, and we're going to win this referendum. How can you help? I know you're all thinking, how can I help? Well, on all of your seats is one of these cards. Please, please, please fill this card in before you leave and drop it in one of the boxes at the back of the hall. These cards are pledge cards, and on that you can specify ways in which you can help many different ways. Some people will only be able to lend us their vote. Some people will be willing to go and knock on doors. Some people will be willing to put posters up. Let us know how you can help. And I also want to send an open invitation to everybody here, but also people beyond this hall this afternoon to attend the first task force meeting that's going to happen in Wellingborough next Saturday. We're meeting at 10 o'clock at the Tithe Barn. Let's get as many people there as possible. I'd love to be in a situation where we can't fit everybody in the room because there's that much passion and that much determination to make it along. So why is all of this so critical? Why is this grassroots work so important? Well, I can tell you why it's so important. Because it's exactly that leaflet 
that Sammy alluded to. And mine hasn't been confiscated yet, I might add. Um, although it was confiscated by one of you. I don't quite know <laughs> what's going on. But uh, it hasn't been confiscated by trading standards yet, but I'm sure they're on their way. And frankly, they'd be absolutely right to do so. Because I have no beef at all with Europe. But what I do have beef with is the European Union. And we need to make that very, very clear. I was no fan of coalition. I was very much on the record as being a sceptic of coalition, but I understood why it took place. But one thing that used to frustrate me all the time was Nick Clegg saying that three million jobs would be lost if we were to leave the European Union. Simply not true. And it's claimed on this very leaflet. And Karen Brady's arguing on the front of this leaflet that Britain's economy is stronger in Europe. That's a very little comfort, I have to tell you, to steel workers up and down our country this week, including in my constituency. <laughs> Simply put, the European Commission is not doing everything that it could be in order to tackle unfair, uncompetitive Chinese dumping of steel on the European market. It's unacceptable, it's got to stop, and we also need to get away from these dreadful state aid regulations that are making it more difficult for our industries, and particularly our steel industry, to compete. So, whilst I respect Karen, I have an enormous amount of respect for Karen, and I have to say I'm probably a fan of The Apprentice too, but my message to her is simple. She should be telling the European elite, you're fired. <laughs> and there's wider national issues at play here too. The fact is that the free trade common market principles that many people voted for back in the 1970s have been abandoned in favour of a political superstate. We never voted for that in this country. That's what people in my constituency tell me all the time when I knock on their door. And I think that we could have a much better future outside of the European Union. We could be a global trading nation, much more global in our outlook, much more successful, able to negotiate our own trade deals, in a position where we could actually help developing countries properly by establishing market agreements with them. And we'd also be able to control immigration in a way that we're not able to now. That is a primary concern that my constituents have, and I visited a small business in my constituency before Christmas, employed six people. And one of those employees was a young man from New Zealand who'd come over, he'd been granted a visa, he'd been trained, he was a very important part of that team. But he couldn't stay because we couldn't get his visa renewed. And that's despite the fact that this company wants to expand, it wants to have more global operations. Um, they were very, very keen to export to the New Zealand-Australian market, but because he wasn't from within the European Union, we couldn't get him a visa. I don't think that's fair. I think we need to have an immigration system in this country that is fair, regardless of where you come from in the world. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's an enormous honour and a privilege to be a Member of Parliament. To stand up in the chamber, to be able to put a question to the Prime Minister of your great country is something that I never imagined just how special it would be until I had the opportunity to do that. I never forget how lucky I am to have been put there by my constituents and to have earned their trust to be elected last year. And that's exactly why I want to make our own laws in our own country that work in our national interest rather than having them dictated to us by Brussels. It's unacceptable. We can quite capably... We can quite capably make our own laws that work in our national interest. I have to say, it was quite intimidating to follow the wisdom of Sammy Wilson in appearing on this platform afterwards and to appear before the fireworks of Farage. <laughs> I was conscious that I had the slightly dry bit in presenting what Go is all about. But one thing I know is this that we will win this referendum. Yeah. 
that we will work together. And we will take our great country out of the European Union.